So why don't some of you from Fairview School introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Daniel Foxton. Katie Peel. Paul Barrowcroft. Marie Sugden. Emily Dyson. Abigail Wadsworth. You got a tongue in your head? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, use it then. For anything in particular. I asked you to introduce yourself. Actually, strictly speaking, you asked the pupils from Fairview to introduce themselves. I'm from Kingsmere College. <laughs> There's always one pain in the backside, isn't there? I think I'd better introduce him. This is my son, Brett Aspinall. Proof how much I'm committed to bringing the best to this school. I left Kingsmere because I wanted to. Brett, is it? We'll have a catch up later, Brett. Thought you were jammy maker, having your mum and your mum's boyfriend being teachers here. Sure. Well, fancy having your dad run the place. Look, can we not even talk about my dad? He's an embarrassment to me. Don't worry, I know what you mean. Speak. Now. Now? You taking the piss? Now. Oh, it not really make sense anymore, does it? Well, what would you really say? Mm, no way, ma'am, probably. Sorry? Now. Now? You taking the piss? No way, man. Don't you now me or I'll give you sodding now. What's going on? What is so funny? Hey, have you finished that? Seriously though, if you fancy a French lesson, want to come round tonight? Oh, well I'm really crap, but yeah, that'd be great. to my office. I was just going to amend... Ow. Your dad? Um, wild guess, yeah. You're wrong. So you better start learning some respect. Are you listening to me? Hmm? First thing, you can go around to every teacher who's noticed you've defaced and apologise. But it wasn't graffiti. That board was covered in spelling errors made by your teachers. I don't give a damn what was on it. You don't write on my walls. Fine. Just to be clear, spelling isn't important at Waterloo Road. Because obviously, if it's not an issue for the teachers, it's not an issue for the pupils, right? Just hope the examination board don't get hold of it. Spelling doesn't matter. Of course it matters. But a notice board is hardly an official document, is it? So just stop all the graffiti. Now get to your class. Come on, Leanne, what's your problem with Mika? Miss Campbell saw it, me. I told you why, didn't I miss? Tell me. Because I wouldn't have three in a bed sex with her. You liar! You're the liar, Mika. You know what happened that night we went to Brett's house? Getting off your face and flashing your tits at us. Me and Brett were just dancing and having a laugh, sir. Then Mika went all weird on us, didn't she, Brett? Uh, I don't remember Mika going... Yeah, but you had a bit of a funny turn, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah! You spiked Mika's drink, didn't you? You set her up to humiliate her. What's she ever done to you? Everyone cares about her, don't they? What? Because she's pretty and she talks nice. 
I've got feelings and all, you know. No one gives a stuff about them. Brett, a word. I've said everything to Mr. Rimmer. Yeah, then tell it to me. Because how I hear it, you haven't said anything one way or the other. Sorry, okay? I feel bad, but I can't get involved. Why not? Look, I'm not trying to hang you out to dry. This is pretty clear that it's between Mika and Leanne. But you were the only other person that was there, so why don't you tell me what happened that night, eh? Wasn't how Leanne said. Well, how was it then, Brett? Come on. Mika didn't even want a drink. It wasn't her fault. So it was you that got a drunk? No. But what the hell happened then? I don't know what happened. Well, you must know something that you're not telling me. Hey, look, Mr Clarkson. I was out of it, OK? And my dad really can't know that. I was puffing, all right? <sighs> you stupid idiot. You've got one last chance to stop me reporting you. Shift in the crowd here. We're not going anywhere. We got a job to do here. Uh, I don't think you have. Come again? You're not vandalising our heritage and jeopardising our future. Listen, Sonny, you are really starting to I'm get not on your my son, Neanderthal. If I was, I'd be flipping burgers. Don't you get it? By killing these trees, you're killing the planet. Think about oh, it. Oh, now you put it like that, I know where you're coming from. What have I been doing all these years? Lek, give me a hand. We got a couple of tree uggers. Lay one finger on us, and you'll be sharing a jail cell with someone even uglier than you. <laughs> Maybe we don't have to lay a finger on you, Sonny. Don't move. You won't do anything you can't. Get the head teacher. He can sort them. What are you not doing? Get back to registration. <sighs> How did I know it was gonna be you two? Right. We'll talk about this inside. No chance. We're staying put. It wasn't a request, Miss Granger. I seriously suggest you consider your options. We option. are not letting this lot rip up in five minutes when it's taken nature a hundred years to create. <laughs> what, and these trees are going to make a difference? Absolutely. I know you're a math teacher, sir, but I'm sure even you've heard of photosynthesis. <sighs> Mika, I would love to stand here and discuss the ins and outs of biodiversity, but this building guarantees a future for pupils who don't have your academic prowess. That's a bit patronising. Well, you've got an MVQ in that already, Brett. What about replanting? We replace all the ones we take out, two for one. Trees take ages to grow. What about now, our green space, our environment? You know, this could be considered a criminal act. Civil disobedience, Mr Lawson. There's an honourable tradition of it in this country. Do you know how pathetic that sounds? What's going on, Mika? Come on. You're a dabbler. You're a dilettante. This is all some intellectual test for you. Look, you can question my commitment all you like. For God's sake, you climbed up a tree and you wouldn't come down. You know what, I have more respect for you if you actually cared about what you fight for. And with Mika, at least she's got passion, she's got substance, but you. I take it Mr Clarkson's injuries put paid to the conservation garden. Why? I gave you my word. Some of us have got principles, Brad. You can go. I should have listened to you. Sorry. Hey, don't worry. I'll call you later, okay? Let you go. See ya.
You need to listen to me, Mika. We can sort this. Oh, don't come over all fake concern, Brett. It makes me want to puke. If it's my baby, I want to take responsibility for it. Do you really think I'd want to keep your baby? We need to talk about I it. I wanted to talk, Brett. I wanted you to be there for me so we could discuss everything. But where were you? Off. Screwed Chloe, that's where. I've said I'm sorry about that, but I'm here for you now, OK? It's too late for talking now. Are, are you sure? What if I am pregnant? We'd bring it up together. Are you off your head? Well, the only other alternative... Yeah, an abortion. I know. Can we go into town right now and buy a pregnancy test? We. Oui. You need to know either way, don't you? And so do I. Look, can we just leave it? Let me think things through. Do you want to end up like Maxine? Having your choices made for you? Okay. But I don't want you pressurising me into anything. I know if I am, then it's, it's yours too, but... You don't like me and you don't want to be carrying my baby. Well, even if you don't like the dad, it doesn't change anything. You're either pregnant or you're not. We need to find out which. What if it is positive? How am I going to tell Tom? It's just another whole heap of trouble. Whatever I decide to do. Come on, I'll, uh, I'll wait for you outside. Well? It's negative. That's great. Look, no one needs to know about this, OK? No, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Brett. I'm sorry. I, I guess part of me wanted you to be pregnant. Hey? Why? Just because I... Just because I wanted... But this isn't about you, Brett. 